Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Lego Star Wars Summer Vacation starring Weird Al Yankovic and Billy D. Williams. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's what? It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 9 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget Kindle Unlimited is free. All right, let's get into it. Uh, there's Billy D. Uh, as Lando. And, um, and I, I don't know who Weird Al voices. Uh, I'm going to guess the Emperor. Just because he's in it too. And this is a goofy Lego cartoon where the characters all go on vacation. And like everybody's in it. I guess... I guess this is, is this Finn? These are these are the new characters, Finn and Ray, from uh, and then Obi Wan's in it as a ghost, and it's all about having fun on the beach. Uh, the droids are in it. I guess before C three PO was murdered, um, and the Emperor and Darth Vader are in it as the goofy bad guys. And then there's a flashback with Obi Wan. Back in the day when he was partying, and then you get to see Jabba the Hutt. Um, so it's all a bunch of goofy cartoon nonsense. And I guess that's... Is that Han Solo? I guess that's him. I don't know. It's hard to, hard to tell. Um, hard to tell who's who when they're Legos. Um, you know, other than the Emperor and, uh, and Darth Vader. So, it's a bunch of goofy nonsense. See, you got stormtroopers in their beach gear, and you know, uh, it looks fun. I, I actually laughed at some of the jokes. Uh, this is, I think that's Han and Leia. I guess Leia's in it too. So it's called Summer Vacation, or Star Wars Summer Vacation Special. So if you're gonna do something like this, you definitely gotta make it a comedy. You gotta make it totally goofy. Because then who cares, right? Then who cares how ridiculous and stupid it is? Because it's just about the laughs. Again, I don't know who Weird Al is voicing in that. Let's, let's see if it says. Uh, a new animated special from Lucasfilm with the Lego group is set shortly after the events of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. It'll feature the voices of Weird Al, uh, Yvette Nicole Brown, Kelly Marie Tran, Anthony Daniels, Billy D. Williams, and returning cast members from previous Lego Star Wars specials. In other words, not the actual voices of the characters, but the guys we get to do the Lego stuff. The special will also include Weird Al's new original song, Scarif Beach Party. Okay. I mean, look. It's not a lot on Disney Plus I would watch if I had it for some reason, if I lost my damn mind and ordered Disney Plus. But I'd probably watch this if I if I had it. Or if somebody had it on, I might watch it. I mean, that's why I say I'm not sure if it's Han Solo or not, because some of the new characters I'm not that familiar with. And, uh, you know, you get the Millennium Falcon driving around. I, I assume that's Finn. So this is like an after, after Rise of Skywalker story. I thought everybody was dead, though. I thought the Emperor's dead after that. Or I guess he's alive. He's always alive. And this is Obi-Wan in the early days, because I guess they're promoting that, too. So, I mean, is it going to be good? Probably not. I, I suspect it will be terrible. <laughs> but there'll be some fun jokes in it because it's Lego and it's just a goof. The whole thing will be a goof. So hopefully they'll goof on Star Wars heavily and about how, you know, dopey and stupid some of the plot holes are. Um, not too heavy because you don't want to go too inside with it. You know, you got Wookiees running around. You got people drinking, just doing goofy stuff. So, yeah, I, I guess this is Han Solo. Who is this? This is a ghost? Which ghost is that? I don't know. And then, I mean, they got flashbacks through all the movies. No, I guess that's Han Solo there in the background because that's the Wookiee planet, and this is back when things went on. I mean, they're going to have a lot of callbacks, obviously. So then who's this guy? Who takes over the Millennium Falcon? One of the new characters, I guess. 
I knew he was different because he had that mole on his face. So I assume it's one of the other actors who has that mole or whatever. Um, not seeing Luke in here, though, which I, I'm, I'm sort of shocked. Maybe he's not in it. Um, but yeah, I mean, look. Break it in a three-act breakdown? Sure. Uh, first act, uh, we're going to go party! Uh, you know, it'll be like a setup, like, oh, this is going to be very serious, and then, oh no, we're actually going to some planet to go have a beach party or whatever. But, of course, the Emperor is going to be there too, along with Darth Vader, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, there's, there's the, the hint that there might be something dangerous going on, but it's not. It's totally ridiculous, so they're not even going to try to make them. They're going to be more like bumbling sort of villains. So the first act is <clears throat> all set up. And then I guess it centers around Finn uh, not having fun. And then Obi-Wan it's ghost advising him for some reason. Oh, you should go out and have fun. And then uh, uh, Vader and Palpatine try to ruin their fun. Uh, but they fail miserably. And there's a few flashbacks of, to some of the early shows. Jokes about Return of the Jedi. Jokes jokes about the droids. Jokes about Obi-Wan. Jokes about people losing their hands. That's a, that, that was a joke in the trailer. Uh, jokes about Jabba. Jokes, 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 jokes. Then the third act. Some final confrontation. This isn't it. Because it's Obi-Wan as a young man. And that's not it. So, I don't know. They lose a limbo contest or something. Stuff like that, you know, like a dance contest or whatever. And the bad guys lose, but they don't die. Like, everybody has a laugh at their expense, and then they run away or get sunburned. So they go back to the Death Star, and who is that? Hmm. I think that's one of the new characters, probably has to be. Um, so, yeah, you know, just, just a bunch of, and then here's the... Weird Al thing. Let's see if there's anything else on this. So it's just something goofy to watch on Disney Plus. This is the kind of stuff I expected on Disney Plus. You know, this is the kind of stuff I would expect on Disney Plus. Fun kid stuff. This if they just did this all the time, people would love it. Now only kids would watch it. Some adults would. I mean, there are Star Wars fanatics who will totally watch this and love it. You know, but it shows you like. You can actually do Star Wars stuff and not make it political. It doesn't seem to be a political thing in this whole thing. Mostly because they're toys. And, it, and it's a total goof. But, yeah, you can actually do that, Disney. You could do that in all your shows. And make the whole channel fun. And then it doesn't harm anybody. And then everybody says, sure, why wouldn't I watch Disney Plus? I need to, like, check out. I've had a rough day. I'll watch the Disney Star Wars thing and forget my troubles. That's what people want. So, thankfully, Disney stumbled upon it once. <laughs> Maybe this will be a trend. Um, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be a trend. I mean, look, I'm done with Star Wars. You know, I'm not going to buy Disney Plus just to watch this, but it seems harmless enough. Um... And I like Weird Al, so maybe the song will be good. Uh, but, yeah, they got to do more of this stuff. More, more, more. More of this. More of fun. More of comedy. More of self-deprecating humor. There's a lot to self-deprecate. Rather than getting on the, the Twitter or the Internet and complaining that, you no, no, our shows are great. You're just a bunch of bigots. No, goof on them. Like, uh, they should be goofing on Miss Marvel right now. Right? Just goof on it. Who cares? Ah, it's just a dopey show. Whatever. We screwed up. Oh, no. You know, you could do a Marvel thing like this. It would be fun. Yeah, all the Marvel characters in Lego. That'd be great. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. I will be at the Sun Rose Bookstore in Ocean City, New Jersey, on Thursday at 11 a.m. till, I don't know, 2, 3, 4, something like that. Um, stop on by, get a signed book. I will have the Pioneers number nine. I did get a shipment in. So I hope to see you there, and we'll see you tomorrow.